Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 2, part 48. And today I'm going to use my Ferrari 360 Modna thing that I tried to use in that uh, three, uh, 400 horsepower thing. But the game wouldn't let me. So I'm going to use it for this, and I'm going to upgrade the shit out of this thing. That is expensive. Let's, let's not do that yet. Alright, let's do that. Race fuel system. Let's do racing ignition. Let's not take the ignition immediately off. Okay, racing exhaust. Okay, see you, Alex. Uh, yes. Let's see, engine block. I honestly kind of want to like not put any more power into this, put a little handling into it. Can do a power swap, bro. Except I'm not going to do that. You'll finish 4 as a 1 6 before I finish 4. Alright, I'm holding you to that test drive. Hmm. Do I want. Um. I'm debating whether to do sport or racing tires. I think I'll just do sport tires. And if that's not enough, I'll switch to racing tires, so. Let's get the BF good reach tires, bruh! And this thing is still A class. But hey, I don't give a fuck. So, anyways, to the manufacturer club, we go for the level 25 event here. The Club della Scuderia Ferrari. It, you know, limited to Ferraris, of course. And here's what we're up against, yeah. Going for it. Going for it. So. Oh, great. Our first track is Silverstone International. My favorite. I like how the map shows, like, the little uh, chicane after uh, turn four, but we don't use it. GG. Anyway, Sebring Club, Laguna Seca, Magello Short, okie dokie, let's go. Okay, so, um, never ever go wide in turn one. Just, just don't do it, ever, under any circumstance. Take it fucking, I don't care if you take it 50 miles per hour slower than you need to. Never go wide in turn one here. Because of the fucking ice. That is put on the outside area. Like, there's less than no grip out there. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyways. Third attempt now. Second with this current uh, setup. So. What I did off screen was I put racing tires on this bad boy and also racing brakes. And now I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Although I somehow got around Rossi, I have no idea how, but hey, that works out, because... You know, oh god. Meanwhile, Muller and his fucking 330 is goddamn fast. Like, he's not just fast, he is goddamn fast. And I am goddamn shit. Ah. All right, Rossi somehow got back around more. Here come them both. Please make the turn. Thank you for making the turn, car. Okay. Hooray! We have survived the beginning of lap two. I don't think New York was one of the tracks in this. Keyword I don't think. It's 
to you. Fun times. An underpowered car. Because all the fucking epic swag S-Class Ferraris are locked for me. Because I'm not a high enough level. Because it actually shows when you try to like buy a locked car. It shows like, hey, how do you unlock this car? Well, I'll tell you, you fucking silly faggot. But yeah, basically I'm two levels away from unlocking the F40 and F50. If only. If only. Ludo, that's not how it goes. It's we we'll jump inside the locker bocker and splunk to the Halnork. Gotta get it right. It is important that you get it correct. I'm not sure what happened to Rossi. He like got on my dick and then suddenly he wasn't. He's got a home off for like, you know, four more laps. It is itchy. Still don't like this turn. at all. Let's jump inside the locker locker, not into goddammit Ludo. You make me sad. You got it wrong again. No, it is not good, Ludo. <laughs> Fucking Rhinorg in. Do the turn. Yeah, let me just cut the turn out of the fucking speedway. Literally cut it with a saw. Fucking Looney Tunes style. There you go, now you got it, Ludo. Jeez. Jeez Louise, anyways. Three laps to go. Oh, well, I took out one of the- actually two of the cones. Oh, Muller's past Rossi. I suspect he's coming for me now. Why? Yep, there he goes! He slams on the brakes. It's an old race car, therefore he can go really, really fast in a straight line, but he can't turn the fucking thing. As well as he would like to. Holy shit. Oh, I thought he fell way the fuck back. No, he's just kind of, uh, being sandwiched by the Fs. Okay, two to go. It's got to hold off two more laps and then do it three more times because three more races. Old fast crap. Correct. Well, then suddenly a lot more cones are ripped. Please make the turn. Oh, ball sacks. Rossi! No! Bad. Yeah, you fucking slam on the brakes, bitch. Please make the turn. Our culture is what culture? Ha ha ha. Oh, fuck. That's what I get for leaving the door open. No! 
Fuck you. I'll take the rear end damage. I don't care. Come on, just one more one. <laughs> So I think this is a sign of things to come, aka, um, I'm sure it's only going to get worse from here, to be perfectly honest. Good fucking more. Just being an asshole. Yeah, Esposito's in the F-40. Yes, he is. Okay, just a couple more corners. Suddenly the chat is, uh, much less populated. Uh, anyways. Way to go, Q. Pass me, bro. Okay. There's the first race down. Finally. <sighs> this is gonna be an adventure. And I would not be surprised if I have to upgrade this car even further. Not be surprised at all. Where the other 360 finished? Fucking seventh, of course. Of course. All right. Well, there's race one down. And this thing's level one. Hooray. All right. I'm the pole man now. I've given no more fucks. Okay, I still have some fucks to give, because I didn't go full kill. But now... My 360 is, uh, swagging out 600 horsepower. To compete with these fuckers. Because, yeah, I got, I got the racing cams and engine blocks, because, uh... Ugh... <coughs> Like, I'm really, I'm still really upset with myself that I blew that victory in the last lap. There was no reason for me to try to outbreak Rossi into turn one, because I had the line. But I did it anyways, and I paid for it, because I went wide, and I lost because of it. And it fucking pisses me off. It makes me hate myself. So now I'm doing this race in easy error mode. With 600 horsepowers! Who jinxed me? Myself. Okay, 599.9 .9 horsepower, but still. 600 horsepower. So yeah. Obviously, I'm having a much easier time with this. You know, I don't have Rossi Miller and Esposito ramming my dick. Like, at all times in this race. Oh, fuck. Hello, Rossi. Over under? No, because he's trying to block. Fuck you and your F-50. Oh, shit. Go! <laughs> yes, I've almost went test drive mode. Yeah, that feeling I pretty much had to. And considering, you know, I don't have those cars unlocked because I'm not level 36 yet. If I was level 36, you bet your sweet ass I'd be using the uh, F-50. Nope. Nopey, nope, nope, nope.
But what in all of this has been cringe? There has been no cringe, only fluff. And not the music guy fluff, either. Can't assume which car you use in the series. Gee, I wonder if it was the F50 GT. Hmm. There's no way it wasn't the F50 GT. Oh, big slide. Got a little wheel spin there. Put the car in slightly sad mode. Bear be confirmed. Get out of the grass! <clears throat> Alright, well, three laps in. And, uh... Yeah, far less contact than the uh, last try at this. Also, you know, the four of us are slightly more spread out. As in, there's less than zero car lengths between us. By less, I mean more than. I see you there, Rossi. And guess what? Oh boy. Use the F50 GT. Whoa, what a shock. Wait, Homestead's in Forza 6? No fucking way. Does that coincide with the uh, left turn pack, Harry? That apparently is a thing now. What's the difference between F50 and F50 GT? Oh god. Well, you see... The F50 is currently behind me. If Rossi was driving the F50 GT, he would be behind me, but he would be lapping me at this point. That's the difference. Yeah. So, you know. Okay, three laps to go. Rossi's still trying to pound my ass, but not succeeding very much. Unless I make small mistakes, so, you know. Yeah, F50 GT is super OP sauce. Like, it is literally the, by far, the best uh, not non-race class car, like non-R class car in this game. By far. Oh, fuck. The stream end, uh, eventually. That's when the stream's gonna end. I don't know, I don't have a specific end time, it's just whenever I want to finish the stream! Why did I not cover the bottom? I can't do my line through that turn with Rossi on my ass like this. I need to stop. Okay, you don't have to fucking repeat yourself, Harry. Especially since they're first time you said that didn't even scroll up all the way yet. I think this game is better AI than GT6. Yes. AI is, uh, much more responsive and stuff in this game. So, you know. Fuck me! bottom. Oh, suddenly Muller is in second. This does not bode well. 
because Miller has the God acceleration. Please make the turn, car. Thank you for making the turn, car. Oh, suddenly my car does not want to slow down. Okie dokie. I've killed the brakes. Stay on the road. I use smoke screen. Ha ha. Anyways, Pokemon jokes. All right, just gotta protect from Miller down straightaway here, and we're good. Or not. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. But he got a wheel from dirt. Okay, finally, I won this race. All right. It was not quite a holocaust. It wasn't nearly as much of a holocaust as the last attempt, but that was still a pretty crazy race. So, hey, work through me. I guess. Just wait on Spears and Martin to finish the race, which they have. And okay, just a slight bit of body damage, no big deal. Hey, level 35, I got a new car! Ooh, C5R, fuck yeah. Let's check out my new C5R. New car hype, I got a new car! It is a Corvette C5R. Oh, it's this one. Okay, it's the uh, it's the Speed GT one. Wait a minute. This is a Z06. Wait a minute. Hmm. C5R Z06 apparently. All right. This is not the car I was expecting. I was expecting the IMSA Corvette. Nope. Oh well. Still awesome C5R. Let's go to race three. Okay, time for to con ugh, time to continue this Holocaust at the Mazel Hot Family Game. So here we go for five laps, six laps around here. I meant to say six laps, clearly. Okay, just oh, okay. I was gonna say protect the inside because of Mueller, but he just kind of tucked in behind Rossi, so I'll take that. Time for the continue. You? Yeah. The more hardcore you are, the more money you get. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, yeah. Always like, you know, being rewarded by uh, playing at a higher difficulty. It's always nice. Yes, I know. I ignore everybody, Charlotte. It's okay. Oh, oh, it d actually did say I was supposed to get the M's the Corvette. God damn it, game. The game lied to me. It was supposed to give me the M's the Corvette. It did not. It gave me a fucking, you know, GT uh, Z06. Also, what the hell happened to Esposito? Because, uh, he's not in the top four. I have still not played Dirt in forever. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I played a little bit of Dirt a few months ago. Like, I just kind of dicked around in it a little bit. Mostly to see if I could actually, like, you know, play it on the hardest difficulty, therefore LP it. I don't think I'll be able to. It's really fucking hard. I mean, it's not impossible for me, but it would take forever and lots of failed attempts. 
So naturally, I'm gonna fucking do it. Hey, Esposito made it back up to fourth. Cool. And AI is a piece of shit, too. AI is just hard to fucking overtake. Especially in, like, buggy races or anything with, you know, exposed tires, because, have <laughs> fun, faggot. You should, uh, read, when you do, redo your, uh, dirt LP, or whatever, test drive should do it on very hard, or whatever the highest difficulty is. Do it, bro. Anyways. Alright, this race is being very, very tame, thanks to my 600 horsepower-ness. as well. Oh yeah, Master Race hype. Meanwhile, I'm gonna LP it on the peasant box. Don't mind me. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. PC version is badly optimized. It's okay, there's mods for that. I wonder if there is like optimization mods for dirt and wouldn't you know They're fucking better be. That's all I have to say. I don't see why there wouldn't be. Whoa, big slide up over the hill. All right. Car got light and uh, the tire started spinning. That was a moment. That was a hell of a moment. Just remember, test drive, smooth and steady. I'll be Mr. Smooth, you be Mr. Steady. I don't know why, but that's like the best line in the game. It's the best line Codemasters has ever written, anyways. That's a good name. Violent Anus, I like that. Also, hi. Also, this is just one of those races where I'm just kind of mindlessly going through it. Which is why I'm, my driving is less than optimal. I hear loud music because of the fucking movie they're watching at a very loud volume. Two to go. Drive, you're on an alternate account. Banned. No. Also, that was a quick switch. I haven't played Harbor in a long time. Playing Fallout 4. Uh, Fallout 4. I'll be glad whenever I get to play that game. Which isn't going to happen until I play all the other Fallout games. 
which is probably won't happen until I'm like dead of old age. Oh, Schneikies, okay, we're good. Alright, final lap. I have a somewhat comfortable two sec almost two second lead over Rossi. <laughs> GG test drive. Fucking got the expansion disc for uh, NASCAR Racing 2, but not the game itself. I don't know if I want to stream my Fallout playthroughs, at least not of 1 and 2. Maybe 3 in New Vegas. I don't know about 1 and 2. Actually, once I like figure out what the fuck I'm doing in Fallout 1, I probably could stream. It. I don't have enough time in my life to do anything. Well, test drive, considering I just kind of plan on downloading an ISO or whatever of NASCAR Racing 2. Yeah. Never understood New Vegas. I really don't know shit about Fallout. All I know about Fallout is from listening to my friends in the fag Discord play it. Let's choose a guide. But I don't want to use a guide. I want to bumble about. Which is why I don't want to stream it, because it'd be incredibly boring and people would get frustrated and try to tell me exactly what to do and then I would get frustrated, etc. Vegas, boring location. Wait a minute. I think Pro is... okay. Oh yeah, Pro is the highest difficulty in dirt. Woo! Can't wait for Tester to get dongered on Pro difficulty. As we wait for everyone to finish. There we go, everyone's finished, okie dokie. Let's get me credits, get me a level 3 uh, reward, hooray, and go to the last race. Alright, here we go, time for final race at Mugello Short. This run to turn 1 is going to be very interesting. Very interesting. So here we go. And there goes Miller. Well, rip. Oh yeah, that's right, you gave me Postal as well. Fuck, I gotta play those as well. Fuck. Fucking Postal. I have way too many game, like, Steam games. Way too many. Oh, hello, Miller, how you doing? Bye-bye, Miller. It was nice knowing you. You're agile as fuck. 3.30. Damn, Miller got shoveled all the way back to third. What a loser. Yeah. Didn't you also give me fucking... Uh, Doom 3 BFG? Or is that somebody else? Ask for... Yeah, some P-Cars DLC. Got your money's worth with that one, Ludo. Like, you've given me so many games, I just have lost track of them all. By far. 
on top of the games that other people have given me. Speaking of, I should probably finish Expand Rally at some point. But I'm kind of like in this mode where I want to like work on my uh, console backlog first. You actually won first try on Pro? Holy shit, test drive. I remember trying the first race on Dirt on Pro and I uh, sucked giant fucking wang at it. I think Magello is in Italy, if I remember correctly. I'm probably wrong. I don't know. Don't really know. Also, I have quite a nice lead over Muller, who's back in second. 2.6 seconds. Nice. Apparently blocked the AS very well. I think my issue was, uh, I couldn't even get into fucking P1 in the first place. Gel is in Italy. Confirmed! Harder dirt one over dirt rally. Rally by far. Because dirt one still has some like arcadiness to it. Dirt rally is like full on. Hey! Yeah. Just. Yeah. You better know exactly how to fucking rally or you're gonna die. Moving the camera, don't mind me. Oh shit. I wouldn't say dirt one is broken in any way. It's just, you know, it's an arcade rally game with some simulation aspects to it. It's a simcade and has no simulation value. Ah, shut up, man. Also, I'm surprised there hasn't been a PRC article yet uh, claiming that Forza 6 Apex is shit. I was really, really expecting that. Oh yeah, Dirt 1 is definitely my favorite in the Dirt series, probably in the entire Colin McRae series in general. Then, the only pre-Dirt uh, Cody's rally game I played was CMR1, and a little bit of CMR04, so, you know. But, Dirt is such a good game. Such a good game. glitchy. I never really encountered any glitches either with dirt. God, yeah. Fucking shitty PC port of a mobile CMR. Because Codemasters makes bad decisions sometimes. Very, very bad decisions. I've never really faced any glitches in Dirt 1. Yeah, plus Dirt 1 has fucking Pike's Peak. Like, come on, bro. It's okay, Charlotte. Gotta have your Sam racing on. Well, true, Dirt Rally does have Pike's Peak. That means it's better. Oh, oh yeah, Sebastian Love Rally Evo also has Pike's Peak. But that's a milestone game, and they don't make game like great games. They just make decent games at best. So, you know. Also, final lap. And I am five seconds ahead of Muller. Damn. 
Didn't realize how much I was pulling away. Oh yeah, that's right, they have the old pipes peak, which is fucking gravel. And, uh, slurry. Yeah, fucking Milestone just shits out a million games a week. I mean, Milestone games aren't, be like, they may be mediocre, but they're still fun. We'll have to give them that. Because what little bit I played a WRC4 with my wheel, I f enjoyed the fuck out of. And stuff. And it's, hey, I won the race, got the fastest lap and all that shit. Yeah, Evolution GT is pretty cool. Alright, so... Won this little holocaust of a championship after many, many upgrades to my car. And stuff. So, yay, we won the club, the Ferrari club. So we got monies, and we got the fucking God of Acceleration, the 330p4. I don't know how this thing accelerated so fucking quickly, but it did. Dear God, it did. Alright, well, there we go. So there's that series down, so next time on Forza 2, we're going to go to the level 25 semi-pro event or events. Stay tuned for that.